it's your girlfriend's boyfriend here you feel me no disrespect i'm you you feel me respect that it's your girlfriend's boyfriend back again man it's the xclnt podcast just vibing i had some really like crazy topics i wanted to hit y'all with out front so this is quick notes with go boy Oh yeah, I forgot to mention to y'all, we are at the Like Collective right now, so it's really turned. As y'all can see, man, we in this like really dope environment. Um, this is kind of like what they like bring the offer like to you, like if you um if you can get in touch with them, man. They have a whole bunch of like different like office space for rent and for like um for booking. If you want to get in contact with them, that's the Like Collective. I'm gonna put their information below. Y'all just make sure that y'all um y'all reach out to them. They also got a bunch of like public services that they help the people with. So y'all don't don't be afraid to reach out to them and uh and make a donation for sure. So what's up, y'all? Quick notes with Gold Boy. Let me run through some real quick. You feel me? I just wanted to talk to y'all about this. This is a few of my notes I be writing down. You feel me? Like, I be having stuff in my head. I just write it down real quick, and I feel like y'all should hear it. So, this quick note number one. Statement like, your undying need to exempt inadequacy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seemed like people be having, like, an undying need to exempt inadequacy. Like, if I'm better than you, don't make me insecure about, you know what I'm saying? Like, operating and moving in my in my vibe of life, you not met, you not better than me. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that happens, you feel me? You run into people like, especially if you a dude like me, you feel me? It's probably why you watching the pod. Like, bro, people gonna try to make you feel like you on the wrong side, especially when you going hard. Like, when you going hard, people gonna for sure try to like, oh, you ain't on the right side because you ain't really rocking with us enough. That's how it be. Like when you, like when you really, most people don't even make it to that stature. But I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Like, folks are gonna try to make you feel inadequate, but especially in these times, like, look at 2024. Like, if you ain't in control of your emotions and you don't like own what you do, you know what I'm saying? If somebody can have you looking stupid, like, the, you hit with the excellent podcast, you feel me? I own this. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. Uh, quick note number two. I'm laughing hard as hell, you feel me? I get on the bus one day. Dude, get on, you feel me? He a homeless dude. He hop on the train, you feel me, shorty? He got snot bubbles coming out his nose, you feel me? Nigga, dirty and shit like that. He, st- he come stumbling on the bus. Nigga, damn that, you feel me? He dropped his grocery bag. I look at his grocery bag. Man, this nigga got Trader Joe's groceries. <laughs> I'm looking at that. I'm looking, I'm like, bro, why do you have Trader Joe's groceries, but you home? Like, what's wrong with you, for real? Ain't nothing wrong with shorty. That's why I was, I'm like looking like, bro, like you good. Like nigga got seasonings and shit in his shit. Like nigga got fucking um, nigga got wine in his shit. I see this nigga got this nigga drinking like good wine. Like this nigga good. Like fuck decisions that you make that you not that you not good. <laughs> What's up, y'all, man? It's another quick note. So you feel me? It's crazy that we living in a time now where you can't go and talk to Oprah and fix your problem. I feel like, man, the world different now. Like, man, if I wanted to read, like, it used to be back in the day, you could just sit down with Gail, sit down with Oprah, and be like, man, this what happened. Woo doo 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 doo. But now they gonna ruin you immediately. Five <laughs> G is gonna ruin you immediately. So you're like, as soon as your problems get out, bro, five G is gone. You just gotta get in front of your problems, shorty. Like, <laughs> that's the only way you can control it. Like, I think that's like so like that's so like clear from like the past like year and a half for like just man as soon as stuff happened it's out like that's how i look at the that's how i look at it like man you just gotta get ahead of your problems like oprah can't fix your problems no more like oprah gone <laughs> you feel me dip off on you which is crazy because like i wonder why people stop liking oprah so much that's probably why she probably like boy i'm not saving you out your problems boy <laughs> it'd probably be a bunch of women trying to Trying to like, oh no, women support me. Boy, Oprah be like, boy, <laughs> that's, <laughs> like that's why they don't like Oprah, bro. That's so crazy. Like, once you get up to that stature, and this on this what I be saying to people, bro. I be like, bro, everybody hate McDonald's, bro. Everybody eat. McDonald's not gave people so many meals and free meals and all this here, bro. Somebody gonna die. That's how it works. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feed a lot of people, and a lot of people don't like you, shoot. People, you just being around a lot of people. That's how it be. 
that's how I look at it, bro. Like, ain't nobody finna tell me, like, bro, you feel me? Oh, bro, just the devil, shorty. They be trying to, you feel me? She got scandals, she got her problems, she got her ups and downs, boy, that's Oprah. But it's crazy to think, like, boy, back in the day, anybody, you could sit anybody down with Oprah and it'd be over with. I remember back in that day, boy, that was like, that wasn't that long ago. Nigga, Oprah was Jesus for a second. Y'all remember that? <laughs> that's so crazy. Quick note. Yeah, this is my this is my final note. You feel me? I kind of want to say this too. Like I be thinking about this all the time. Like, cause you know I be coin I be coining phrases. Like it's my kind of like my hobby. Like to like just use words. I be telling people, bro. Like, make your own dreams come true though too, on um, baby. Cause some of y'all be just like making other people's dreams come true. On um, shorty. On shorty from just experience, not even just from my experience, but how I see people be getting finessed and just life, period. Like, man, shorty, y'all make your own dreams come true. People be knowing what I be saying, too. I be like, shorty, make your own dreams come true, shorty. And you be, and then people be like, you feel me? You got to move like that. Like, I'm making my own dreams come true. That's how I be thinking, because, like, you feel me? You ever been in that moment of time where like, bro, we, you feel me? We carried you to this, uh, in that moment where you, somebody done gave you a book that you can't finish reading. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think like that. Like, man, some people going to try to make, some people going to try to grant your dreams and then make your wishes come true. You know what I'm saying? Like dreams and wishes ain't the same thing. And that's something I had to really, t really tap in with. That's when I started tapping in and really was like, yo, everybody ain't meant to be in your zone on God. Cause I had like, that's why I say keep excellent company because when, when you, when you, you know, you got enough people around you to like, you know what I'm saying? People going, people going, eventually somebody going to fall through. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got that person in that circle. That's just like, you feel me? They kind of got more. They kind of got more than um. They 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 be biting off more that they can chew for the group. You know what I'm saying? I know a few people that be biting off more than they can chew for the group. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is we we gonna make this happen. I know a lot of dudes like that, and I swear to God that they lead us. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make your own dream come true. You feel me? Then people wanna grant dreams like they wishes. You gotta watch out for people like that too. You know what I'm saying? Like, people gonna try to grant your dreams. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, you supposed to grant my wishes. You feel me? And then in that in that mind frame, once you free yourself with that mind frame, you you know what I'm saying? You gonna win. But this is just quick notes. Let's go. Pretty much all I wanted to like quick notes. I wanted to talk to y'all real quick on some like smooth, just you know. I don't know, man. Like I feel like every day that we doing this pod is like another opportunity for us to like reach a different realm and like um just in-depth conversation and like get to know each other a little bit more like day by day i feel like every day has its purpose and and it's hard to like fit all the thoughts of like that i think into you know two hours or like whatever you know whatever we make it it's crazy but um somehow it just all kind of fits i'm starting to kind of get a rhythm of it um today i really wanted to talk about something that's like more like seriously like that weighs on my mind kind of more seriously but i kind of still have like a light-hearted view about it because it's so many people that have like such a wrong view on it but then there's so many people that have a right point of view on it and then their, their point of view is based off of values you understand what i'm saying so like it's not necessarily that i'm like saying that people's views aren't correct and that they shouldn't view the world as that but you feel me everybody got their own opinion and it's about acceptance and intolerance and especially about slavery today we gonna talk about slavery i don't even I don't, why did i pick this up why are we talking about slavery so soon i just want to talk about like little stuff that, that people don't know about slavery and not so much fact-based but just literally like you feel me information based like ideology you understand what i'm saying like it's not really many it's not really much fact to it you understand what i'm saying but i think if people like view slavery from this ideology and kind of not so much viewed it from this ideology because i don't want to persuade you to believe something that you shouldn't and that you haven't been taught but you know just kind of have a point a different point of view on it like i think like when people think about slavery they think about roots and they think about amistad and they think about like how slavery was but a lot of people don't think about like the late modernization of slavery and like the um you know medical advancements and chemical uh, uh, sci scientific advancements during the time of um like slavery you know a lot of people don't realize how kind of like you know if, just to kind of get right to it people were kind of like you know less kind of a little bit more like barbaric right you know you got people that um you, you got people that were like you know just slaves that you know didn't really have much of mind 
And I think that's one thing that's hard to kind of say about slavery is like, yo, human beings were in advance during that time. And we're still kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Still kind of like becoming this, you know, society that balances our morals that are based off of times in which this was, you know, permissed. But we kind of see like different, some people would, you know, make the workforce congruent to what slavery was. And I don't believe that. I personally don't believe that. I believe that the workforce is what makes the world go around. I feel like societal government systems and, you know, even though that some of them may be oppressing to his people and to other peoples, I feel like this is what makes the world go around. Like without structure, you know, what will we have? And then to not question that structure and not better it is also wrong too. Like at some point in time, there has to be things that are brought into question about like certain, you know, governmental, um, like people that are in charge of like, you know, the rights of people and laws and, and rations or whatever it may be if the world goes into war and we just have to be, you know, different things like that. Like people don't think about that, but I feel like slavery really shaped that. Like a lot of people would feel like, you know, most of the mass opinion is that ethnicities or ethnic people are like at the bottom of whatever that was. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever slavery is or whatever they could have like, whatever we could have been after that, they feel like we are, they, I just feel like we, we use slavery as a crutch to kind of like express, you know, this kind of like lame, like not lame it, but like this pain of like what we deserve. I feel like slavery is never gonna be forgiven until we get like an allotted reparation until they're like, yo, this is for slavery because they haven't, they, they haven't done that yet. And I wonder if they ever will, you know, not just like the U S government specifically, or not just being like the president has to, cause that's not what I'm saying. Like the president shouldn't, you know, I think it should be more of like a, like a, a, a people's like kind of like agreement of like, yo, we have to repair slavery. And this is the stipend, this is the money and the stipend that was going to repair that. And I feel like if it's recognized, I feel like as a society, we move forward. Even if it doesn't really do much, I feel like if we all speak on it and be like, yo, this helped and fixed slavery a bunch for a minute, <laughs> it would help the situation be like, yo, we did do reparations at some point. I feel like we just never acknowledged as such. Like, yo, this is for slavery. You know what I'm saying? They got to kind of start saying that because you got to look at the government systems and like people that like, like the um the assistance, the government assistance that's available for people like in our in American society that are citizens, and then people that don't take advantage of it. That's a part of poverty, but some people aren't able to do that. There's so many different scenarios and snowflake situations. So when you look at it, you'd be like, you know, especially like when you get on the foot on the on the ground and the feet with it, like get on your feet and on the ground with it, like, and see how like you know some of these situations go. It's like. It's crazy to think, like, I feel like the residency issue isn't so much of, like, the homelessness issue. Because we have people that are, like, you know, psychotically, you know, not capable of, like, you know, doing what they need to do. And that's something that we should help. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also believe, like, after, like, you know, like, like, you know, like, 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 immigration and, like, seeing, like, the hardships of it, like, in person, like, like, hand and foot, it's, like, it's crazy. You know, it definitely makes you like value your like, um, I don't know, your your sense of mental security. Cause I know if I was in the same type of situation, I would treat it like, you know, two feet, two shoulders. Cause that's how I was raised, you know what I'm saying? But it's so many different scenarios and so many people that like, you know, need help and assistance. You know, it makes you think, it makes you kind of compare it to like a slavery, but it's really just poverty. You know what I'm saying? Those are two different things that the, the society is facing and I don't want to get like too dark about it because for me I just feel like it's it's not something that we can't you know what I'm saying as a society I feel like with modernization of like architecture and all this stuff you know that's gonna have to take place because it's not gonna not happen you know what I'm saying we're gonna see the modernization of architecture and we they're gonna end um residency issues it, that now that might not fix homelessness because homelessness and residency issues are two different things is from what i'm seeing after like really kind of being on the ground and kind of seeing how it goes you know what i'm saying like for me i'd be like wow you know like everybody's situation is different you know um like i look at it like you know I, you know, I'm, I'm a regular dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm a sole proprietor, you know, I, 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 everything that I do, I make, you understand what I'm saying? So I see firsthand, like away from like some type of fourth wall situation that I'm probably like perceived as, like I be seeing like people like that are in poverty, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people that like are in the industry don't ever see that. That's why I think this podcast is so important because it's also kind of like telling about the urban community, not just in the Midwest, but in Chicago, like, you know, as well as like, you know, some of the Indiana area, you know, like I, I feel like people don't really talk about this enough, you know, 
And if we're just still on the subject of slavery, you know, we know about Mississippi, we know about Memphis, and you know about the sister cities, and you know how we're like, well, I wouldn't say that Chicago, I don't think we're officially considered like sister states or whatever or anything like that, but I think you pretty much know like there's so many people that come from Memphis to Chicago or from Chicago to Memphis. It's like, I feel like we're kind of like the liberation, the one of the first like liberation states, like from what, from my studies of history, we're like the liberation, one of the liberation cities of like, you know, slavery, you know, or like modernized slavery, you know, serfs and stuff like that. Like not serfs, but that's cause, I don't know why I keep thinking of that word, but like, you know, slaves that were, you know, second generation that stopped being slaves and was like, yo, cause you gotta think that's how it worked. You know what I'm saying? Like some of these people that are from the city are from different places that came from different places. You know, that's what makes you kind of look at immigration kind of wild. Cause it's like, is it the residency issue or is it homelessness? And I feel like I'm kind of biting off more than I can chew when I say something like that. Because it's a very big subject right now. So I know people are like, some of this stuff just doesn't make the news. And that's why I think like it's such a good time to start talking about this now. You know, especially with my position and like the people that I work with. Um, to just kind of speak on it, you know what I'm saying? And get like a, you know, a clear view of like what's going on. So people can kind of like raise consciousness about it and not be so, you know, just at rage about it. Because people are at odds, man. And from what I have seen personally in the city of Chicago and I've seen you know, things that I pass where I can assist, I gotta be able to say I've spoken about this. You know what I'm saying? Because that's kind of like my power. I contribute what I can, you know, for the most part. Um, I've never met anybody that I don't like. Issue, you understand and I don't really have to explain that to you. If, you. if you're from a small town, you might not understand that, you know, um, but it is, it's a fight, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you really look at it like, wow, like some of these people, you know, and that's what you really kind of look for. I had a discussion with one of my representatives the other day. I was like, yo, it's the difference between us finding who needs it and finding people that's just like, I, they whack, they can't find it. Like, I'll be seeing that, I'll be like, wow, like that's the fight. But it's like, you know, you gotta know what battles to pick. Like this residency issue, this immigration issue is like, it's, some of this is out of our hands. And I feel like they're going like out of their way to kind of like repurpose old structures and stuff. I think we need to like really focus on work programs for the people that have come to the city. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like that's the best we can do, or the least we can do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like we deserve that. You know, um, people are people, people are human beings, you know? And to be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? But some people, like I said, you know, you're dealing with criminals, you're dealing with people that's not, you know what I'm saying? It it, it gets different. If you're from the city, you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, do, I do really care for the people that are sick and are disabled and can't, like, you know, find a way to help or assistance. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's one of the number one reasons we're here. You know what I'm saying? I would feel like, you know, so happy to, you know, reach out and, and explain this stuff to some people, you know? But yeah, man, I like, I'm not, I mean, don't put it past me, bro. I might, you might see me in the street and I will really help you. You know what I'm saying? If you need help, like I will help you. But you know, it's rarely anybody that know me that would be like, yo, you know, some people just see me from that, from how, how often I move through the city, you know? But yeah, man, it's, 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 it's wild, bro. It's really wild. And I, I don't even want to slab that on to like slavery because that's not slavery. You know what I'm saying? Like what we seeing right now is like the modernization of, of, society and architecture and it's being battled with like an uh uh a residency issue you know what i'm saying like these people got to figure out how to create these either create these structures or repurpose these structures and give up the rights or figure it some people are losing property some people are gaining properties and it's like people are you know discussing the money but the need is like kind of more important to me personally I feel like what adjustments can be made or what like, you know, how, why can't we adapt to what will be, you know, what would possibly be. Um, that's just how I feel about it, you know, it's, uh, but I mean, it's getting closer to it and then like really being there and being like, okay, that's why, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm missing, you know, I, but I see this from like, you know, a regular citizen's point of view, like, wow, like, you know, it's very depressing. And then like to see like everything going on, like war crimes in different countries and stuff like it's so, it's, it's very, very like, um, it does kind of have you at arms because it definitely makes you value like every like 
faucet you turn on and like every sip of water or whatever like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like wow like this is you know it's such a privilege to 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 be you know to not have to you know deal with this situation but i feel like my role is to like speak on it more than anybody will you know um even if you know i get in trouble for it i don't really care you know i don't feel like i feel like i'm one of the few podcasters in the city that podcast at this level and that are, that have subject matter of this level so I feel like it's personally my role to kind of speak on what's going on in the city in general. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't, I, I don't, I honestly don't feel like, um, I don't feel like these, I don't feel like people are really aware of it enough to be like, okay, this is the problem. Or they're too aware, they're so aware in it, they have like a, a disdain and a, you know what I'm saying, a strong bias about it for either side of either for missing whatever. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's crazy to see. You know, like, uh, I think it's like the third, second or third time I've seen them kind of like go up and go up on the on Chicago news about and it's mainly like NBC. They'll kind of like go up on the news about like, you know, um people are arguing for another, you know, new facility that they're trying to, you know, turn into personally, like I said, I mean it's not affecting me directly, so I don't, you know, so I would hate to even kind of speak on it because I know that's pretty specific, but man, I feel like yo. Forget that building, shorty. Let them do it. Man, get this together, dog. I'll be kind of seeing that, but then I'm like, you know, mm. and that's when you get back down into that little snowflake of like everything crazy. Like, if you come to the city and like people still, you know, they got, we got, we done been had news coverage and everything and people come to the city just to see it. This is how y'all do, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you feel me? But, you know, I just, I just keep it, you know, I just speak as far as my knowledge will go. And that's how I kind of be seeing it. As 2023 ends and as 2024 begins, man, I see the people advancing in, 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 in architecture technology, bro. Like, I could really see, like, them knocking down old buildings and then building up. You know what I'm saying? They're going to start building up them little raw projects. Like, let me go. <laughs> let me come stay on them, boy. <laughs> like, it's going to be some. I guarantee you, bro, it's going to be, like, some, like, Tokyo-type deal, like, with a host. It's going to be a whole bunch of, like, cold buildings that they, like, that we feel them build. But it's going to take years. And I feel like the promise of that plan will help. But right now, us arguing over old buildings and not really making nothing happen with them is like, I'm mean, I'm not really be kind of looking at my 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 the people in the community. I'll be like, yo, like, man, y'all, like, what's going on? You feel me? To the point, I'll be like, shorty, like, man, them people really got it. I, I feel like prosumers like me and just like artists like me, we speaking about like, yo, man, what's going on with with residency and immigration? That's how I be looking at it. Like, that's wild. And slavery, you feel me? We gotta understand that, bro. Stop comparing slavery to the Holocaust, shorty. Please stop. Stop comparing slavery to the Holocaust. That ain't got nothing to do. Like, slavery and the Holocaust is two different things. And stop saying, stop saying that slavery, do 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 do, like la la la. No, slavery was a completely different situation. And if you keep comparing slavery to, like, if you're in favor of slavery because you were black, and this is what I'm gonna say because I'm kind of cheating with you. If you're in favor of slavery because you're black. And then you saying that Holocaust, like you really kind of like denoting what slavery was almost, shorty. Like slavery is, bro, you feel me? Like slavery is not that, bro. That's a totally different situation that happened for a longer amount of time, for a long time, bro. Like buku time. And I be kind of seeing like the level of knowledge that shorty, that people be coming out with. And they be like, you know, man, they don't like, or they like, you know, but I feel like that's a whole nother episode. But that's so crazy. Like, stop doing that. And slavery was not how you think it was. Y'all don't remember George Washington had them wooden teeth in his mouth, boy? And, they, and I feel like even if that wasn't true, they told y'all that for a reason. You understand what I'm saying? Even with, like, Christopher Columbus, because I ain't going to lie, I don't really believe in all the story or tale of Christopher Columbus. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's just kind of, like, facilitated in order for us to believe as though chronologically they was there first you know what i'm saying i feel like that ideology has already been absorbed on like on a common ground or like basic knowledge you feel me but to me though i do feel like slavery need to be looked at like shorty like that's what be happening <laughs> like like on me that's and i said this to, in the last podcast because i don't be wanting to like touch on topics too crazy but i feel like we at that time now like like life be life, shorty. Life be life. Like if when they had tried, like bro, like they really conquered each other. 
And then that's something that I had to get told. Like, man, they conquered each other. They was over there conquering each other too. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just like they were, you know, they were killing each other, like killing the H out of each other, shorty, and then getting off. It wasn't no nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be, I be having to kind of tell homie, like, bro, like, you know there wasn't nothing. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you do know when that guy came and got it, like, it just wasn't nothing. Like, it was something, but shorty, it was whatever it was going to be. <laughs> for the most, like, for, for a lot. Like, we ain't going to say everything, bro. But, you, I mean, that's how it was, shorty. Like, humanity wasn't, I mean, as a human species, shorty, we wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? That's why people kind of be like, I would never be no slave. Yeah, shorty, you would never be no slave. You're not built for that. Like physically, you it's physical advance, advancement of you not being a, you would die. <laughs> That's why I be looking. I'm like, bro, like you, like I really be looking at like genetic advancement of like two or three generations. You know what I'm saying? You look at people like hand follicles, stuff like that, bro. Like it's real, bro. Like you wouldn't have made it in slavery, bro. <laughs> like. You like man, I would have, I would have ran away. We would have found a way out. I would have killed the slave master like Django. Man, boy, they would have, they would have stopped. Man, they would have hit your pressure point on your body, put you to sleep. We ain't gonna get that. That's a whole nother episode. A whole you feel me? This is slavery, bro. Like slavery is not what you, what you just think it was, bro. It was very dark and messed up. That's why I be like, that if you still compare, like if you done, even if you done seen like. What the people, what the what the what the society has made to, you know, what I'm saying, symbolize what slavery was. Cause I'm a, ain't no movie ever came out to show really what slavery was, unless you research and you got, you know, what I'm saying, if you in the cop man, send me some, you send me some slave movies, shorty, that you slave documentaries. Boy, they really, it's it was experimental the whole time. That's why I be looking at people like, boy, why is you comparing slavery to? If you know that, you know, nah, bro. <laughs> and I be looking, I'm like, bro, bro, they really used to play with us too. Yeah, they used to cut our bodies up, and then they used to put, man, I'm gonna say whatever I say. You want her? They'll pull, they'll tie your body to the thing, tie your legs around a horse, two horses, and pull you apart, shorty. Life was barred. It wasn't nothing making it really good. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Shorty had, that's another thing people used to even think, bro. And we gonna say this, cause it's just me and you, bro. You feel me? It's just me and you, sis. Shorty, women used to die when they had babies, shorty. That's some other thing that'll make you absorb and understand a little bit better. Especially in that time. Slavery was bad, bro. And Holocaust was very bad. Like, <laughs> Holocaust, but don't compare them Jones. I'm like, I was just going for, I'm making sure niggas like, I mean, people like me don't keep doing that. For real, like, slavery is not the Holocaust. I had the smooth tail unked that the other day. I'm at the park, I'm, I'm walking around Lincoln Park, man. I'm about to go pick up my uh, prescription. I'm talking about, man, fucking dude. I'm like, man, all right, you gotta chill. <laughs> like, what you doing, man? <laughs> like, what you saying? What you saying? But I ended up just, you feel me, just letting them know that real quick. Like, man, you know, slavery wasn't really like that. Huh? I had to tell them, like, it wasn't, not slavery that wasn't, it wasn't like that. Slavery was like that. But you don't even, we ain't even gonna sit here long, long, long enough for us to tell us what happened with slavery. That's like a, a whole, whole other episode, episode. In another episode. We done been here for like an hour. I don't know how long we've been talking. This is 30, this is 40 minutes. So, slavery, like, I don't know. I don't want to make the whole episode about slavery. Should we make it about, I'm, I'm going to just say that real quick. You feel me? And then just to kind of like lighten your head about it, bro. Look at genetic advancement, bro. I be telling my auntie like, yo, hand Satan ties and nana, auntie, sometimes. I be telling my grandma, like, grandma, hand Satan ties with me, grandma. Like, to the point where you feel me, like, you feel me, relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, relax. That's why I be telling, like, boy, like, if you really think about it, genetic advancement. Because shorty back in the 70s, even look at, look at people's bodies in the 70s. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't, like, forever ago. It's still people still alive. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you mean? <laughs> this happens like they like, boy, this people look different. Like, I know people look different from when I, when y'all kids look different. 
<laughs> like, you feel me? But it's like that. That's how I be looking at it. Like, man, we done came a lot of different brains from slavery, shorty. And I feel like as a society, we should advance and not be so like, you feel me? So racial has so much racial tension. I feel like if you really learn about science, bro, slavery don't really be wild to you. I mean, slavery wild regardless, bro. bro whatever is done could not be forgiven. You feel me? Slavery wild regardless, bro. And I hate to keep saying them, them both together because I'm not comparing them, bro. Holocaust was wild, bro. All that was wild, bro. And the people, the, how we did here, you know what I'm saying? Y'all understand that every humanity is stupid. And we just really kind of just stopped being like war stupid. Now we still war stupid. You feel me? We just, as a society, got to be like, nah, they tweaking. Stop. You feel me? That's how I be saying it. That's how I be letting them have it. Because it's like, I'm more or less like I'm I'm on the side of like bro, if you can't if, if we if if the fight to attain peace is impeded, then you feel me? That's how I look at this. And then and then bar for bar as a society, you feel me? Acceptance, tolerance, and celebration are three different things. Acceptance, tolerance, and celebration. They're three different things. And in society, if we could just acknowledge them all as three. You be like, yo, all right. You know what I'm saying? People be real life. Like, you can't deny people of their presence. You understand what I'm saying? Like, even if you, especially a peoples, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is a peoples that have decided to come together and say that we are peoples. So to deny them of their peoplehood or whatever you want to call that is kind of like, you know, hey. I'm from the city of Chicago, man. Like, um, people, you know, there are like um, LGBTQ, like uh, uh, accepting churches. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like everybody should have a place of worship too. That's kind of my thing too. Excuse me. Like, I kind of agree with that. Like, to for me, I feel like every person should have like, you know, if you can organize a peaceful place of worship within society, it should be allowed. You know what I'm saying? And it shouldn't be persecuted. Um, but obviously, you know, people take, you give people an inch and they'll, you know, take a mile and kind of like, you know, expose, you know, you know how people, how humanity is and within law, you know what I'm saying? This made to be broken. So, or stretched. So you're going to see whatever you see, you know, you know, and I say that just as much as I say it to like people just starting up their own little dollar church. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Bro, you don't really got a message and you not really don't really have a community to speak to. So why are you like opening a church? Is it for the money or is it just for like for the clout? Cause church be clouded. I'm from Chicago, bro. Church church about clout, low key. I be yeah, like I'm like <laughs> like don't, don't even get me started, bro. I like I really be on, on me on social media, but I really see this like bro, church be kinda clout. But it's good churches, don't get me wrong. Like like you feel me, it's good churches, but some people be just be starting church with the clout. That's not even what we're going to get on. I feel like slavery is based around, like, religion to a certain extent. Like, I feel like our traditions are based out of slavery. Some of our, like, religious traditions and practices are based out of slavery. But even in that, if you really pay attention, some of that is science. Which I kind of be like, E. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of that just don't, you know, some of that is like, you know what I'm saying, just straight up biology. You feel me? But I don't like to, you know, disrespect the nature and the, spirit, and the spirituality of people, you know what I'm saying, religion. But that's how I be feeling, man. Uh, Auntie, hand, 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 Satan ties. Hand, Satan, sanitate, 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 ties. That's how I be feeling, man. Genetic advancement and life be life. I am, I am pro choice. I be feeling like that because life be life. I be saying that. I feel like Shorty, and I think I said this in another episode, bro. I done got in a car with Shorty that she, you feel me? She, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to act like, boy, I ain't even thinking. You feel me? I'm like, dang. Somebody come up to the thing. She, they got a clipboard and a vest waving. They, man, they fan in the car down. Like, don't you know? I'm like, Shorty. And then I'm looking at the Uber driver like, Shorty, you stopped. <laughs> like, I'm looking at him like, well, I drive past this fool. Like, we all awkward in here. Like, let her handle her business. Like, Shorty, you got to move around. Like. That's really crazy. Like to me, I feel like that's kind of like persecution, bro, for people that make like um, a decision about a medical procedure. Personally, 
and some people gonna look at me wrong like like i might take i might take an l for this but i don't care man i'll be i'll be stuff changes whenever i, I speak i say what i want to say to me i feel like low-key to persecute people and to be like y'all y'all like i feel like the picket sign is kind of picket sign at the clinic is kind of wrong I mean, that's just my, that's my view. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I kind of move. Like, why would you destroy this woman's psyche about a medical procedure? Like, first of all, you don't know anything about, the, and usually with the scenario, this is what I'm going to say, because I'm going to say it, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to cheat because I'm zooming in. But most of the time, shorty, you don't even know what type of situation she coming in here for. So you coming up here to talk about, wow, you feel me? Like, yo, you got to move around. And I'm from the city, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from I'm from the south side of Chicago, bro. Um, I was raised here all my life. I feel like to me, that's not God's work. Um, ruining a girl's psyche about her decision is like, yo. You, I mean, if somebody needs some help and you see them like, yo, shorty, you out? Then it'd be like, yo, like, shorty, you out? Like, you good? You feel I me? Mean, like, that's how I feel about it, bro. Like, I'm, I'm very like. And that's what, like, either, especially a post Roe versus Wade, like, it ended up shaping my, like, view on, like, legislation over women's bodies, period. And I'm not going to talk too much about it, because I feel like we, but we did talk about that in slavery, like, yo, it wasn't always possible for women to get medical attention for their situations, and it's their body. Which I'm just like, you know, yo... I've, I've always said that I've always I, I mean I haven't always said that because I was at one point in time I was kind of like I don't really know but after seeing how that like disassembled the government even during the insurrection because you got you people be forgetting like the insurrection happened and we was like yo Roe versus Wade over anything <laughs> like that was such an important situation that was going on while the insurrection was going on you know what I'm saying? Some people would say that that was part of the reason why. Like, it wasn't just Trump. It was like, that was a part of it. So, I don't know. I just I just look at it like that. Like, man, like, for me, abortion is such a, like, a, a snowflake problem that we're treating like, you know, like a freaking bottle of water. And it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a different situation every time. And I look at, like, for me, I mean, I'm, I ain't got no control over what anybody do. But I was like, yo, that's not right. And for me to experience the way that I did, I was like, wow, like, yo, these women going through it, dog. Jordy is crazy. But yeah, man, like just women's health and like, you feel me, and medical advancement period from slavery. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, why is we still telling these women they gotta have, like, yo, yo, y'all can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Or even specific snowflake situations that are held, that are handled correctly. Or whatever y'all do, y'all take it all the way to trial every time if y'all want to. It's all, it's on you. <laughs> That's how I look at that too. Like, y'all take that John Allah. If it's crazy in that situation, take it all the way on up with y'all crazy self. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. Because ain't nobody this crazy. For real. That's why I, I, I kind of look at it like, you know, creating a mass problem when it's really a problem for just the specific people. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna talk too much about it, you feel me? Um, I, 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 like, I feel like society has advanced through so many other things that we are like, that we make such, like, look at what we like sh grapple with now mentally. It's like, it's crazy. Be like, bro, like, what, look at what we came through. <laughs> like, <laughs> why does this really kind of matter? You know what I'm saying? Like, every time, like, if every episode I could get on this episode and just lick a box of ice cream and just <laughs> set, it, set the value, like, <laughs> I, mean, I wish I could just ruin the world every day and just get on here and just lick a, lick a thing of ice cream. Like, we have to, like, advance through this type of stuff way better. Especially, like, like I, I see the, like, the brick and mortar issue with like immigration or like homelessness or like residency issues. Like that's like, this is going, and this is why, you know, the city grows is because people come and we don't have enough. So we have to grow it and we grow it and we become better. I do believe it could be like, you know, my kids, kids going to see it be better. That's how I look at these things. You know what I'm saying? As long as the right people are in charge and people don't, you know, 
you know, lose themselves, there will be, there will be, you know what I'm saying? There, there will be, you know, um, and that's just how I look at it. I feel like we the best city in the world. I know Chicago can handle it. I don't know about everybody else. I see Chicago every day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But I'm not going to say much Um, we still working on the mural, y'all. We are here at the Light Collective. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're, kind of, we're kind of like in the sculpting stage of like um, of finishing it. Um, we already kind of got like the finished sketch, and then we're gonna put like some like different characterizations on it. So I'm really excited about it, man. I think this is gonna be like one of the best pieces I've ever done. It's definitely the biggest. I can remember being in high school for an, for an AP class, but this is like the biggest like that I can remember, um, like piece that I've ever done. So I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be paint, so it's not just gonna be drawing. So it's gonna be really cool, and I hopefully hopefully we can like just make a whole episode about it. But I think I'm gonna wait till it's finished because I don't want to like sh- I want to show you guys the whole process of it being done. And then, like, this is it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's kind of what we, like, gearing towards. Hopefully, we're probably going to start doing it a little bit more in, like, January. And, like, really, like, you know, swoop into it. Because we're about to go. Oh, yeah. Look, this is what I wanted to tell you all about. We are about to go to Disney. So, I'm super excited about that, y'all. Stay tuned in. Um, I'm going to try to do a podcast from here. I don't know how we're going to set it up, but we're going to figure it out. I'm, I'm going to have my son. Hopefully, he'll be on the pod with me. It's going to be crazy. So, um, y'all get ready for that. Um, also, before we go, I want to kind of, like, do some, like, really cool art video, long-length art video. Because I'm just potting right now. I'm not doing nothing about art. Like, y'all not even seeing my art, kind of. But I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to try to, like, do a long-format art video and, like, kind of, like, just paint with y'all, I guess. I don't know how that's going to work out. But we're going to figure it out, man, and try to, like, just maybe pod and paint at the same time. But, yeah, we are, we're almost in an hour. And I just want to thank you guys so much for your viewership. Um, if you feel like there's anything that you want to talk to me about, I am that dude. Like, I do read all my comments. Like, I'm so excited about you guys commenting on my videos. It's crazy. But, like, I read all my comments and I read DMs. Like, if you just want to, like, personally talk to me about it, it's cool, too. Like, I'm, that's not weird. But, um, yeah, like, if, like, even if you disagree with me or if you're like, yo, you should think about this, you know, don't be annoying because I'm going to block you. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> if you, like, you know, you just want to talk or you just, you know, even, you know, you kind of had a reaction to the show, you feel like, yo, let me be on the show. You know what I'm saying? I, I am looking for people to, like, you know, send me those, like, little, uh, video reviews you know what i'm saying i'll put i'll definitely put that up there and argue with you for a second man i'm I'm totally down for that um i'm really enjoying recording this podcast and i'm so glad that you guys are enjoying it too um this is your girlfriend's boyfriend and this is the xclnt podcast um i love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video and Go stream this on on YouTube Music. Go stream the audio version of this. Go play this everywhere else if you don't want to watch the video. But I think like if you subscribe to, to YouTube Premium, yeah. So this is brought to you by YouTube Shorts. Uh, this whole entire production is brought to you by YouTube Shorts. Um, big thanks to YouTube Shorts for making all of this possible. You guys are the best. Um, if you guys are finding this channel through YouTube Shorts, make sure you take this time to just go down there, boom, subscribe. You feel me? Love you guys so much. I'm glad you enjoyed this video. And if you disagree or if you got some, like, really intrinsic thoughts you want to talk to me about, go ahead and send them to me. You feel me? Like, I feel like, you know, y'all deserve the platform just as much as I do, man. I'll be trying to talk, you know, what, what y'all got to say. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll talk to you. You feel me? But, yeah, this is the XCLNT podcast, man. If you want to have an excellent life, keep an excellent company. And this is your girlfriend's boyfriend. So I'm you. Don't worry. You feel me? It's me and you, bro. We good. You feel me? I'm your, I'm your girlfriend and boyfriend. It's cool. You good. Oh, God. See y'all later.